What is up, everybody? Welcome back to DreamHack Dallas. Uh, we got doubles top four. Who's in this? Like, who, who's? I know winners finals is Bunk and Hemiojo, and uh, SFOP and Mojo. Who, who's in loser semis right now? Um, probably DJ DD and Skittles. DJ DD and Skittles. Th um, that's the Louisiana crew, or one correct, of them. Correct. And then I, I, because uh, Bunk and Joe beat Bonsai Warrior and Magi, but I'm uh -huh. assuming they're also in top four. Oh, that'd be uh, cool. We got uh, all of Louisiana in s loser semis and Texas in winners finals. Yeah, that could it's, be fun. It's gonna be a good old uh, Louisiana versus Texas doubles top extravaganza. Four. Yeah. Hell yeah. Can uh, we? Is there any way to pull up a bracket? Do we have that technology? No. Uh, no, nope. we don't. I can pull up a bracket. I got that technology in my pocket. Hey yo. So has it been good? I've been playing a lot of friendly, so I haven't watched too much. Yeah, it's been the, pretty decent. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it pretty yeah. fun. There was a there was a, a Roy for one of the games, and then uh, who went Roy? Uh, his, Bonsai Warrior. His tag is Soy. Oh. And then, <laughs> and then uh, you know Jeff and Jelly, correct? Yeah. Uh, the Weichel brothers. Correct. Jeff uh, switched from Marth to Roy game two, and so it was two Roys, a Marth and a Fox on Yoshi's, and it was oh, a. Oh man. It was kind of a, a. I think Roy is only really funny if there's a puff. <laughs> then it, the then it's a, then it's real funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like Magi and Bonsai Warrior are in Loser's Semis, and the bracket's not updated, but if you say it's uh, Dash Dance... Wait, what was it? Uh, DJ DD and DJ Skittles. Dash Dance? DJ uh, DD. DJ DD. Oh, okay. DJ DD and uh, Bonsai Warrior. I think I'm thinking of Dash Dance Dan. I don't know if you know him. Old guy. <laughs> not to be confused with I'm Dirty Dan. Oh, other guy. Other Dan. Classic. Yep. Shoutouts to Dirty Dan. So are we doing... Uh, we're gonna do winners finals first, right? Probably. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that tradition? At yeah, this yeah, point? yeah. I think that's the, I think that's the way it goes. So, um, yeah, we got uh, we got SFOP and we got uh, Mojo. SFOP short for uh, spoonful of pasta. Correct. And Mojo short Correct. for, go ahead. But is it, is it just Mojo? I mean, it it's is. Uncle it, Mojo. But it <laughs> is. It's Uncle Mojo. I was just hoping you would make something like, up on the spot. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Uh, but yeah, SWAT Mojo is a pretty talented team. Th didn't they? They did fairly well at Genesis. I know they beat Fiction, oh, yeah. uh, Absent Page. They beat a lot of people. I don't remember the whole run, but they beat like they were top eight, right? Th yeah, they they got three or four upsets in losers bracket in a row, and I was just like, holy cow! Yeah, no, the, I mean they're the very power talented. of Double Fox can uh, can take oh, you a long yeah. way. Who are our sponsors? Chipotle. Mm -hmm. We got yeah, uh, boy. we got a Chipotle sponsorship going. Shout out to Chipotle. Uh, I love Chipotle. They got a burrito for every occasion. They do. Tacos pretty good. Tacos are, yeah, tacos are all right. They got the burrito bowl if you want to pretend to be healthy. Right, right, They got right. the burrito if you if don't even want pretense. Carbs, no yeah. pretense. Is this your favorite song? Because this is my favorite song. I mean, song. It's, I've, it's been going in my head for probably about a decade and a half now, so. <laughs> Perfect. Same, and that's just the way I like it. I kind of like the when you unlock everything. <laughs> you got the double selfie, winner's <laughs> final selfie. Easy money, baby. Yeah. That's probably the tagline. So that's Spoonful of Pasta and Uncle Mojo. Uh, they're just waiting on their opponents. Uh, Hammy Ojo and Bunk. Bunk and Joe. These Usually guys are all local, all from uh, the DFW area. Uh, well, Mojo originally from Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But correct, they are now all DFW players. Um, man, it's so crazy seeing SWAP, like grow up. Um, Swap was just a wee lad when I first started, and yeah. he also first started. And man, he was a uh, he was he was quite the trash talker. Was um, he? Oh he yeah, seems really of course. Chill now. Well, yeah. I mean, now now he doesn't have to trash talk because he like has he's nothing got to prove. Skill to back it up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, he had skill back then too. That's why he liked to trash talk is because he was you know a young lad with with good tech skill as as most young space animals do. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and uh, <laughs> I think. Um, our first tournament we saw him, that was me and Ham Yo Jo. <laughs> he was just so ready to just plow through the bracket and meet Ham Yo Jo. But man, now Swap is such an accomplished player. Honestly, I I pin his trajectory to be top 100 next year. Or oh yeah, this year. I believe. If he keeps playing, yeah. Mm -hmm. The the real threat to that is, I mean, what if he just like decides to take a break from the game? True. That's very. He very he possible. disappeared for a little bit at one uh -huh. point. He has some inconsistency sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think he's a very talented player. Uh, I think he has a pretty good mindset. Mm -hmm. 
And when you pair him up with someone like Mojo, like, man, Double Fox has never been more stupid than this. Yeah. <laughs> Double Fox is already stupid busted. Uh-huh. Uh, but with the way these two play, where you, it's impossible to kill Mojo. Correct. And SFOP will kill you off of a single hit. Uh-huh. Then suddenly it's just like, which one would I rather not fight? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Pick your poison. Yeah. Anything pops you up, you're not landing. They're both, they're uh -huh. both just going to keep you up there with up there, Shark. Yeah. And also, I think it, like I, w I was watching them earlier talk about like team strategy. Um, and Mojo Mojo really doesn't seem like the kind of guy to like know a lot in depth in the game. But man, he he's, actually does. He's <laughs> very smart about me. He knows so many. And I mean, like it shows in his play style. Oh, that was sick. That was a sick combo. <laughs> <laughs> they're really wrecking these. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's living. They're oh. giving it to these level nine or level one CPUs. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're very they're very rehearsed, is what I want to say. Uh -huh. uh, they know. I mean, Mojo always knows what to do to a niche situation, and so I think in the teams like that's gonna shine as well, because you get a lot of like crazy scrambles in teams. Damn! Look at him go. But yeah, to that effect, I remember. I remember back in the day, uh, I was like trying to get advice from from Uncle Mojo, and he said things that were just so above my like level of understanding that uh -huh. I didn't understand uh, at all. And I was just like, "What is this guy talking about? He's either crazy or like a super genius." And now that I'm better, <laughs> I realize he's actually just a super genius. He's so he knows so much about the game, and he just describes it in these like obscure niche ways. No, he's definitely both. He's definitely crazy and a super genius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people were like, no, no, no. Mojo has a lot of really good game knowledge. You just got to glean it from him in, uh -huh. a, in a way that you can understand somehow. Right, right. He's definitely one of a kind. Yeah, no, for sure. What are they practicing? Weak hit bear wobble? <laughs> Weak hit bear wobble. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, whatever it was, it didn't pan out. Yeah, for, for a team as corny as this. He read that level one CPU. Uh, okay, so we are going to scout out the other team, and we will be right back. Yep. See you guys soon. Hey, guys, welcome back again. DreamHack Dallas still. Uh, <laughs> we found our winner's finals, so now we will be getting on with that. Okay. The rest of the bracket's going to be three out of five. So again, we got uh, Hamlin and Bunk, which are a Chic Peach team, mm -hmm. uh, a Team UGS Lite. Yes. Versus Double Fox and uh, Uncle Mojo and SFOP. Please, it's UGS of the South. UGS of the <laughs> South. Uh, so yeah, uh, Bunk and Joe, usually the red team. Uh -huh. So here they are. Turn pause off, please. Oh, wait, they're just doing a hand warm. They're just warming. What? They where were they if they weren't warming up? Oh my goodness. Look at these. TPP. A couple of pretty princesses on the screen right That's now. That's what I'm saying. Get to the game. All right. All right. So you think they're going Battlefield game one? Uh, in this matchup, honestly, I don't see any reason why any stage other than like I could see Stadium being really bad for Pink Team, and I see everything else being pretty neutral. Uh -huh. I feel like they've started on FD before. FD is good because it's so bad for Sheik, but pretty good for uh, Peach, uh -huh. especially versus Double Fox. So hard to say. I would say overall, uh, FD, probably not the best choice, but I mean, it can't be worse than like Stadium or maybe Yoshi's. Mm -hmm. And and then Fox just... Honestly, it's just wherever the Foxes like the most. Yeah, I mean, Foxes have the uh, the uh, luxury of comfort picks. Yeah. They, uh, they're they good on pretty much every stage. I think it's a myth that they're not that good on FOD. They're amazing on FOD. I think they're great on FOD. You just can't be like a short hop gremlin. Yeah, but people just used to suck at edge canceling and shield dropping. That too. Now they're sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same thing with uh, same thing with Falcon to a degree. 
it's still not his best stage, obviously, but it's it's doable if you're really sick at uh, edge cancels and shield drops. But anyway, yeah, you called it. Um, we're gonna start on FD probably. What are they? Why did they quit out? They were probably just turning pause off. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, immediately hitting hitting him with uh, the blender. So obviously, blue team is going to look to isolate the Sheik and then like snack up the Peach, right? Yeah, they're. Uh, it's weird because they're looking for intelligent crouch cancels. They're not <laughs> just going to be holding down, but it's so strong versus uh, Sheik, especially Double Fox, uh -huh. that like you could just kill her and rack up damage real quick. But you got to watch out because if the Peach team, you got to hit the Peach away first, and then you can really abuse the crouch cancel versus Sheik. Right. Sort of like a, a two-on-one singles match. Mm -hmm. Oh, that needle sniped it. Hey, Miyajra takes that stock. <laughs> and uh, S-Fop's actually the one. I feel like Mojo's usually the one stock tanking because he's like the indestructible fox. Yeah. But um, um yeah, S-Fop's holding on. Never mind. Excuse me. I feel like either one can be the, the aggressor at any given moment. But I like, I do like that from S-Fop to recognize that right now he is the stock tank and kind of roll switching. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the, oh, oh. no, Mojo with the horrible Azen dash. Yeah, Bonk trying to, it's weird because he doesn't want to get away too far, but he also wants some space to pull a turnip. So you see him run away a little bit sometimes yeah. and kind of question, should I pull a turnip right here? Is it a good idea? Oh, man. Ooh, good reverse fair from Hamlin, or Ham Yojo. It's hard when their names start the same. Yeah, it's like, it's like a very similar thing. I think, I think it's funny. So when a fox is off stage by himself, it's kind of difficult for him to recover against two people. But when there's two foxes off stage, their recovery options become a little bit better. They can almost know? stall. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's almost like they both want to be out there together. Yeah. You know? and I think that's one of the sickest part about double foxes is they they can play close together if you're good enough, and that's when you get to see like some really cool double fox stuff. Mm -hmm. Is when they're they're really close up. Yeah, but against this team in particular, like. Like, getting in a big cluster with a whole bunch of people. Oh, he's oh just going to roll goodness. up. All right. That actually really sucks for blue team. Fortunately for blue team, though, Fox really good at the 2v1. So he, he was able to stay alive and not die real quick during that little... Ooh. This is a 2v1 with Mojo. This is super doable. Mm -hmm. If he can get this to a 1v1. But here, here's why FD was, like, a pretty good pick. Right now, if he if he gets it to a 1v1 with Peach, then you've got the chain grab. Ooh, that, Ooh, was, that sick. was sick. Oh, let's wow. go him, Yojo. I was going to say that wall jump is so ambitious. He was so early. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it perfect worked. Perfect timing. Exquisite timing from him, Yojo. Absolutely. What a way to end game one. <laughs> that was really dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, they could have just done something plain and simple, you know. Yeah. Plain Jane, kill the fox. So obviously, Stadium is good for upward kills. Yeah. Um, what else does uh, what else does Fox like about this stage in terms of the matchup? Um, it's pretty bad for Sheik in general. The platform heights are really bad for her. They don't have a top platform to run to. Uh -huh. uh, Peach actually likes this stage in general. Versus Fox, it's really hard just because Wave Shine up smash is such a like a non-committal and early kill option. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically it. The transformations also, in general, very good for Fox as opposed to very, very bad for the others. Mm -hmm. Not bad for Peach. Not, uh, not super terrible because she can farm turnips, uh -huh. but other than that, she cannot fight on them. She has to just go to the other side of whatever's happening. Oh, that's a stock trade. And it's looking pretty even. Uh, red team with a slight percent uh, deficit, but nothing huge. Yeah, the red team's doing a really good job right now of like taking their low percent advantage and cleaning up their stocks while they have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't believe that trade worked so poorly for, I for him, Yojo, but he didn't die for it anyway, so it didn't matter. It looked like the F-Tilt like popped him up, but it was actually the Firefox that popped up Sheik up. Yeah. The old switcheroo. Oh my god, and Mojo somehow manages to convert two kills off that. Yeah, they're both... Both SFOP and uh, uh, Uncle Mojo are really good at finding those stray hits and then coming in with that falling up air. Mm -hmm. Just like off of any random hit lag. Red team managing to even it up. Um, 
going back to neutral oh. transformation. He just hates so much for Zeppelin that down. Oh, they're all. This is this is some casual smash right now. They're just they're just a free for all. They're just clobbering themselves. Oh, I don't know if that back air was that good. I think the up air would have killed. I I agree. Yeah, and that's rough for Sheik. What? Why not up smash? Hmm. Yeah, okay. questionable. Okay. okay, but I mean, they're still they're still uh, winning this currently. Oh my god. Bad trade, bad DI. He was trying to like drift out of it, I guess. I mean, this could still go either way. A stock lead with high percent doesn't mean a whole lot in doubles if you can't hold on to it. Yeah, but Peach and uh, Sheik lack that instant kill move. That uh, excuse me, there's okay, a never mind. On stage. Never mind, they've got that. <laughs> you were saying Tuesday? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, my god, and the stitch face changes I the cannot whole believe game. that just happened. I, I didn't even want to mention this stitch because I'm just like, okay, bar is stitch and a bomb, obviously. They don't have that like running up smash that Fox has. Now, this could be it. Oh, I don't know. Okay, never mind. The stitch yielded about 120% in a stock. But even still, blue team taking this to a 1v1 is pretty insane. Uh, usually, S-Swap wins in the 1v1s, but Ham Yojo is not letting that happen. That was a perfectly space side B. Hamlet just wants something, ooh, ooh, something ooh. to knock down. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh my god. god, no. Rock transformation come in clutch, uh, limiting the tech options from Ham Yojo. Yeah, that, that transformation was not what Ham Yojo, Ham Yojo needed. He needed some knockdown. He needed some uh, dash attack, something to pop him up. Yeah. But he just couldn't get anything with that limited amount of space. And, and half the stage is techable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they'll probably go Dreamland. Oh, no, they're going Battlefield. OK. Yeah, dealing with double fox in Dreamland is also really annoying. Yeah, especially Mo Mojo is like the Dreamland fox. <laughs> yeah, the quintessential. This is the type of fox that does well on Dreamland. He, he gets another 100% on all his stocks, and he's already living to 150, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you content to just sort of drop down with these spares? I like the use of platforms right now from Uncle Mojo. He's really being uh, elusive, for lack of a better word. Oh, no, oh, the no. with the... I thought that was going to team kill. Running up smash. Oh. That's the power of Fox. Suddenly you're dead. Six frame kill move off the top. And another perk of dying off the top is you have to wait the whole blast, like, or the whole duration of dying off the top. And, yeah, the and you're stuck KO. in a 1v1. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a, I mean, yeah, it's normally a problem. Fox, though, pretty good at the 2v1. So he can he can just run away and stay pretty safe. Look at that. That was crazy how they just avoided each other. I feel like they, like any two unseasoned Fox players teaming would have just hit each other right there. Yeah. <laughs> what? He was, just, he was just holding him there for Bunk to go hit his teammate, and Bunk was like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> It's so interesting watching like throw dynamics in doubles because it, it no longer becomes like a like a you always pick one direction. Yeah, it's risky and you gotta like it's not just what yeah, what links, but right. but where the other guy is. Where you know, they you might want to hit them with a Right. Oh no, him Yojo with the friendly fire and and, the and SD. an SD. Uh, that's the worst feeling in teams when you know you like let really your teammate down. Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that's why teams are so rewarding too, is when you win, like, it was like a team effort. It yeah. was like two people working together to overcome an obstacle. No, I, I definitely agree. Oh. oh. Dang. Battlefield working for uh, Red Team's favor. You know, it's funny, because arguably Battlefield is, is not the best stage for uh, space animals to recover because it limits their angles. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can't do any more like hard angles towards the stage. They have to go straight up, or they have to be above the ledge. Yeah, you basically know how far they're going every time. Uh huh. Which is a, a decent perk. I, I guess that's probably one of the reasons why Red Team picked uh, Battlefield. Oh my God! Three deaths. Oh, just kidding. We got a Zelda in play. He's no, gonna. No, he's gonna take it. Sack it. Yeah, probably Not worth for the it. best. You just extend a 2v1, basically, uh -huh. because you, he was going to die from there. Yeah, Mojo had ledge. It might have been possible for Zelda to grab ledge on the up B, but Mojo wasn't going to let go. 
Oh, bad DI. All right, that S swap death definitely ties it up. Um, and a pretty thick percent on Mojo. Blue getting oh. a little sloppy in the scramble. Ooh. Ugh. Mojo getting gimped off of a, a down smash starter. Oh, Sheik Fair coming out from the, the uh, Fox up smash. It's a two hit move. Oh no, oh. she's just spinning on the platform. Oh, man. Oh, man, and that's rough for Bunk. Who do they want? Yeah, they're going to let Bunk take it. Red team still has a game to play with. Um, but I mean, we'll see. Mm. Peach is pretty decent in the 2v1 if uh, if things get hazy. Yeah, but suddenly something that's like already pretty risky, the down smash, is yeah. really risky. Yeah. Even if you hit it, the other one's just going to run in and up smash you. Mm -hmm. That was excellent teamwork from Blue Team. They just they got one clean hit and then just took it to the bank. Yeah. Run it back. Probably. I, I would run it back. I think I think Bunk and Joe is the team to run it back. Actually, well, I don't know. Because they also, I know they like Yoshis. They're talking, though. Mm -hmm. Taking double fox to Yoshis? Yeah. They like it. I it's it's ballsy. but they I like think it. it's it's a pretty good stage <coughs> for the team, I guess. But versus double fox, I wouldn't do it. That's where... I, I take people to Yoshi's when I want things to go haywire. When I yeah. want people to get messed up. Oh, and that's what they're well, doing. Here we go. You, you called it. What Why would say? they do this? I'm Buck and Joe's number one fan. I, <laughs> I can't be wrong about I, that. I'm uh, curious to hear the reasoning behind this afterwards. I'll ask them. Hmm. But, I mean, this is where I go if I want uh, some real shenanigans. I want the whole thing to go, like, yeah. crazy, like that. And it's working out for Blue Team. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, the tides could turn quickly, like, like so, a 2v1 for SWAP. I don't know about that target switch. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but I feel like he could have gotten that edge guard. Uh-huh. I mean, that's just the threat of a, a, a double fox team is yeah. suddenly you're ledge guarding one fox, and then one fox ledge guards you while saving, like, at the same time. Oh, no, that's not a good look for him, Yojo. Oh, but he, he messed up the Firefox also. He, he uh, got poofed. Oh, man, red team is locked down on the right side. Oh, big damage real quick. They can't get this edge guard. Oh, that was so smart to to not <laughs> poof to the ledge. What was this about going haywire Tuesday? This is this is pretty haywire. Uh, that's what I'm saying. This is oh, oh no. no, but that's what you you're rolling the dice with this stage. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta hurt. Oh the <laughs> The wall jump fair. Oh, but sick tech. So you can tech the up smash on super low percent and get a grab out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was a great angle from Mojo. <laughs> These down smashes are just doing such fat damage so quickly. <laughs> Dude, honestly, red team is kind of popping off right now. Right? They've got some crazy just like, oh my god, and a gimp on s -Wop. That's huge, he just spawned. Oh man. This is looking like it's going to game five if they can keep this up. They're just down smashing, and it's working. Hell That's the yes. stage. That's the stage. Power of the power of Yoshi's baby. <laughs> okay, oh, pivot okay. up smash though. I like it. If Blue team yeah, he's gonna run something. away. Good. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. I agree. You Proper. don't. Want, you, both those foxes were holding shield and holding down. You don't want to mess with that. Yeah, two v one. A very scary situation for such defensive options. You know. <laughs> right. Okay. Bunk defusing the pressure. Oh my god, and Bunk is working so well. Oh man. They're playing so well. Red team just trashed them. Down smash some more. Do it. <laughs> just do it. Let it let it rock. <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> you know Bunk is feeling himself when he just charges the up smash. What are they doing? He's gonna fourth oh, throw. Oh, he's doing the thing. Yeah, he was gonna do that thing where he puts him inside of Yoshi's story. The uh, the Connor the Kid tech. <laughs> oh, nice. That's the ham, Yojo. What? What are they doing? They're clowning. There they are. They're the uh, the Plano Globetrotters. So that up smash that he did is actually super good. Cover it, it covered everything. Okay. It missed tech. Roll in and tag in place, that up smash uh, covered, and then Peach was on the other side. So Correct. if he, if he okay. rolled the other way, he would have gotten nared. So 
that up smash was basically guaranteed because he'd rather take that. Right. It was half of the whole pie, which the other half was bugged. Yeah. Standing menacingly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, optimal smash. probably would have been to go into the nair on purpose and then tech it. Omsa tech. He could have down smashed. You're right. He could have down smashed. You know he, he had the finger on the down C. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. We going back here? Yeah, didn't they start here? They did start here, uh, but Bunk and Joe won. Yeah, so they, they can go. They can go back here. It's a it's a ballsy pick, um, but an I interesting mean, one. What what else would they do? <laughs> Run it back to Yoshi's? Yeah, definitely. Or not. Dreamland. I, yeah, I would have done this too. Tbh. But they won on Dreamland, correct? No, they no. We didn't play on Dreamland. We haven't played on Dreamland. Okay. So wow, actually, surprisingly, the Double Fox team is kind of stunted in the <laughs> in the stage counter pick. Yeah, game. but I feel like there's no real bad pick. Yeah, I mean, obviously. In fact, I'm surprised they didn't go to Dreamland. Oh, oh, that's a not a trade. That was worth. That was Absolutely. super worth. <laughs> the jab grab on the side from the Hamiojo. Ham Swap deciding he doesn't want a part of it. Oh, that's risky from uh, from Mojo to just go off stage at such a low percent. Oh, All right. no, and they're not, getting not low percent anymore. That's the power of Peach and doubles. She can rack up so much damage so quickly from any sort of scuffle. Oh my god, that combo. Looking clean. Hamiojo had it everything covered with a with like a back air early and then fair late. Yeah, their their team combos are super good right now. UGS of the South? UGS of the South. <laughs> yeah, blue team, um I mean this was like a roller coaster set. Game one, red team came out hot. And then um, SFOP and Mojo were playing hot the next two games, and now, now this. Yeah, Bunk and Joe just decided to press massive amounts of buttons, yes. and they are working. <laughs> and I like this position that they've got going too here. They're just like uh, casually waiting it out, getting more damage on the foxes. Yeah, they're rotating, walling them out from center stage. Oh, uh -oh. no, that that's could not be bad. a good. Yeah. That's not a good uh, stall. But they're still up solidly. They could take these with uh -huh. any Anything. random hit. Exactly. Ooh. So that up smash on shield definitely should have been a float cancel Nair out of shield, but they were kind of messing with each other. <laughs> roll away. That's what, I, that's what I look like in doubles. It's just like uh, buffer roll away. Buffer roll to the ledge right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you need a breather from all this fighting. You're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be over here for a second, guys. You continue. I like Bunk going out in front like that. Uh-huh, me too. There's just so many, like, stray things that Peach can throw out that could just be so bad for Fox. Yeah. It's like they they suddenly corner themselves because of how little they want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bunk's side of the stage becomes lava. Oh, he missed the wave dash back. <gasps> Bunk with the angel platform, almost clipping him with a nair. I would do nothing but down smash if I were Bunk right now. I don't know, it's risky. They're looking like a, an up air train away. Oh yeah, he needs to stall right there. He does not want to get sharked. And suddenly this is doable. I mean, SFOP has to keep it. Oh no, this could be bad. Good needles. Oh, but he couldn't finish it because uh, Uncle Mojo came over to, to help SFOP out. Oh no, and he up smashed instead of up airs. That could have been huge. Oh no, this, this game five is suddenly turning around. That could be it. Okay, 1v1. SFOP is no, living. it's not. Mojo playing it smart. Oh, oh he did no. a bad angle. Okay, suddenly this is down to the wire, but he might just running up smash him. Oh, shine is big. He misses the shine spike. That was crucial. He needed that to miss so bad. DBC oh, but this is, is it. Good for this Mojo. Is rinse and repeat. Oh, but wait. Good recovery options here from him, Yojo. He has a few ambitious angles going on for him. Oh Ooh, my God, he lets him drop it. Okay, oh, but it doesn't okay. matter. He rolls up. Ooh, Double Fox taking it all the way back. What a comeback. That was. They were up by a lot. Yeah, I mean, it was like, what, three stocks a piece it to was two a, stocks a piece. Yeah, it was a solid, like, they were at high percent, too. And exactly. it was like two stocks to one. Holy oh goodness. Whew, that's crazy. Now okay. we can get into loser semis. The yeah, here we Louisiana. go. That was Texas, everyone. And now we'll switch to the Louisiana players. The, the tier two state. Yeah. I'm just kidding. And while we, yeah. And while we get them up, we're going to uh, show these off? Yeah, let's show them off. Look yeah. what we got. Cool little trophies. What is this? Wow. And so these go to second place. These are little uh, coins, I guess. And then third place also gets a coin. 
Okay, so place. coins for, for the, the top three finishers. And the uh, the grand prize winners. Oh, you want to go? Yeah, they get to hold these up. Look yeah. at this. We can oh, pretend yeah. we won dubs. Hey, we did it. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of this and say, hey, look, me and my friend Mervis won, won dubs. I'm going to send it. it to my parents who don't watch Twitch. So they <laughs> yeah. won't know that I'm lying. They'll never know. But uh, yeah, I mean, sick little rewards here. Yeah. Um, it's got the melee emblem on it and everything. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, delivered uh, by Jabali himself. Yeah, Jabali just came over and set up, set him down here. Jabali, Jabali, a legend, Dio. Yes. Legendary. Been around a long time. Yeah. And then he vanished into air. He's a global emote on Twitch. He is. Isn't that crazy? He's a character in uh, Dive Kick. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I think the the craziest like. The day I found out that Scar was a global emote on Twitch, I, had, I was like, what? We made it. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Yeah, we made it as a as a community. And then I learned he worked at, at Twitch, so it's probably yeah, yeah, easier. Uh, yeah. It's not about Melee. It's just about Scar. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that emote was from his set with Hanky Panky. It was, and he looks in the camera. When he yeah. puts the, 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 the cloak on. Yeah. He does the like wall jump downer or tech downer. I forget what he did. He did something gnarly. It was a it was a falcon thing to peach, which it is was. always gnarly. Yeah.